So today I want to talk about the projector type because it's been quite the journey for me really embracing my role as a projector in human design and I feel like it's important for me to share. I'm designed to share. I'm here to share my stories, what I witness in life, and kind of the secrets or revelations that come from it. So I feel like when I go through these kind of experiences where I understand this information or how it integrates in my life, that it's there's not as much value in it if I'm not sharing it with other people. So I have a drive to share my life story in hope that it helps people and hope that it resonates with your your experience. So I think it's very important for projectors to have resources to feel empowered and to feel recognized for what they're going through. And what I've noticed with my work and my teaching and um, teaching workshops and things like that with human design that there's a real power in bringing projectors together and sharing stories and sharing our life experiences to recognize each other and to uh, give acknowledgement and permission with what we're going through because deconditioning, the deconditioning journey for a projector can be the most intense out of all the types. And the founder of Human Design, Ra Uruhu, said that projectors can be the most disturbed individuals and have the most intense deconditioning process because we're living in an energy type dominated world. So you have about 70% of the world as the generator type. They create the life force on the planet. Um, about 9% of the world are manifestors who are the go-getters, the initiators. Uh, they have impact and projectors are can get lost in that. We can get lost in being super generators, super manifestors, great fake initiating, uh, imitating manifestors. And I, before I found human design, I was very much in that, very much hard on myself when every, every once in a while I had all this energy and I could, you know, really do so much. And then other times I just completely crashed and I thought something was wrong with me. I thought that my ups and downs with my energy and kind of how I flowed in life that there was something wrong with me and with human design it's really given me permission to look at this in a completely new lens a completely different perspective of how I'm designed to operate and um, I think it's important for projectors to understand the dance to understand the dance of what it's like to live your design as a projector and the power of what it is to be in this role and how the dynamics work with the other types so the strategy for projectors is to wait to be recognized and invited. Now, this is mostly because we're not here to work and we're here to guide. So let's talk about the work part. So we're not here to work. I'm pretty sure every projector would admit that they actually don't want to work or that they get resentful or bitter when they are doing work that's not... Um, making them feel successful, making them feel really seen for who they are. Now this can be really draining. So not here to work. So as projectors, our work is different. Our work is, um, it's a different frequency and it's more around teaching and guiding and things like that. So for me, you know, as a projector, I love my work when I am doing guidance, when I'm teaching, when I'm writing, when I'm sharing, when I'm aligned with um, with that process. So as projectors, it doesn't mean that we don't work, you know, it doesn't mean that we don't do anything. It just means that our work is different. We're not here to sustain physical, physical um, work in that sense. Um, whereas a generator, you know, the, the nine to five work model is built off the generator model because they create the life force of the planet and they're here to, to use their energy in a physical way that's satisfying for them and to know who they are based off how they respond to life and where their energy wants to go. So projectors are different. Projectors, um, you know, whereas generators can kind of wake up in a moment by moment basis, like responding to life and mastering their energy, projectors are, are different because we're mastering how the energy works on the planet. We're, we're not necessarily mastering our own energy per se. We kind of figure it out over time. We kind of figure out 
who we are based off how we're recognized by others, based off uh, learning enough about other people to recognize how we fall into the play. So it's a very different um, trip that we have and it can be tough and it can be confusing. And what I've noticed is that um, for myself and for the projectors I've worked with can have kind of the biggest shattering period where we recognize just how not self we've been in our lives or how easily we've gotten lost in the conditioning field or been pulled to things that we're not. And this is uh, a natural process for projectors and I think it takes a resilience and a, a self-recognition and a willingness to um, really want to change or really want to embrace who we are instead of what we thought we had to be our whole lives. So, um, okay, so as projectors, this invite, like I've talked about before, this invitation is sacred. When people recognize and invite us, they're really wanting something from us. And this is a a very intricate and precise dance that we learn. So we are slowly building the mastery of our lives. So projectors have a kind of a, um, not really an advantage, but basically a focus on mastery. So we are here to master systems. We're here to learn about how energy works, how others work. Our aura is laser focused and absorbing. It penetrates deeply into the core and into the heart of other people. And we are gifted with the sight to see into others and to understand how the world works. And we need projectors to be healthy and to be operating correctly so that we could be doing the work that we're here to do. So on a very mundane level, it's important that we are recognized and invited into the things that we do because we're we are not an energy type. We don't have the sustainable energy like a generator does. So we're here to work with generators and here to have very lucrative, beneficial, and clean energetic exchange between the generator types. And our auras work together. Whereas the aura of the generator is completely open and enveloping and the projectors is laser focused and absorbing. So if you see a picture of how these two auras work, they're actually made for each other. And it's important that we learn the dance between the two types because when a generator is feeling satisfied and aligned with how their energy works, and is open and recognizing of the projector. The projector has a gift of recognizing others and there's this beautiful guidance and energy exchange that happens between the two types. And in my life, over the last three years of my experiment with human design, I've seen the magic of this. I've seen how amazing and in flow and successful and vibrant my life is when I am working with a generator, and I'm talking about any type of work, so we can be guiding or literally just in flow. I mean, I've had experiences with my dad. My dad's a generator where we worked on projects together, um, like when I was uh, redoing a space at my home and, and just getting in the flow with my dad. And, and when we were really in flow and working together and in this kind of synergy and synarchy together, um, I felt like I had this untapped resource of life force energy because it was working, it was in flow. We were working really well together and when teamed up with the generator or a manifestor, when we're invited into somebody else's energy and we're recognized for who we are, we can do whatever the hell we want with that energy because it's available to us. So although we're a non-energy type and we need to build the resilience of being able to be alone, being able to rest, being able to not work, when we are called in to do the work, when we are called in to team up with an energy type, that's where the magic is. And it's a dance, you know, it's a give and take. It's a going in when, when we're being recognized and invited, going in when the energy is open and pulling out when it's not. And this can be moment by moment. So these relationships or these energy exchange can last years or they can last moments or they can last hours. It can be in, um, you know, so this is a skill and this is a laser focused awareness that projectors come into the world with to recognize who are the right people to work with. And because we are so open to the other types, it is so crucial that we are 
around the right people because we are absorbing and amplifying the energy of the world that we're in, the environment we're in, the relationships that we're in. So whenever it comes to open centers, whatever type you are, we are we're absorbing that energy in. We're eating that energy. You can think about it as like literally a meal that we're taking and we're absorbing it into our body, into our frequency, into our aura, into our consciousness, and we're eating that energy. So that energy that we're around, we need to be very clear that that's healthy for us and that our body can digest it. Because the worst horror movie for a projector is being plugged into the wrong person and feeling completely disoriented, overwhelmed, sick, um, confused, um, dependent, I mean, or addicted to that energy. It's just, it's a really, really tough exper experience. And I've been in it. I've was been in, in situations like that. And it can be really tough. So it's very important that when engaging with other types as a projector, that you not only are recognized and invited, but that you sense and feel with your inner authority that that situation is correct for you because when entering into that situation it's going to either build offer you resources offer you an understanding and a wisdom about the world how others work and also how you are based off as a guide and how you're recognized for your work um, and it's also going to reflect your health of how you are so this is a journey and this takes time Okay, it takes seven years to decondition and realign um, for our bodies to, re to regenerate the cells, to replace themselves. It takes seven years. So give yourself patience to figure this stuff out and be radical about your experiment because the importance of our guidance is using our outer authority correctly, using the power of our mind, how we see things, what we, wit what we witness, um, and offering our awareness and our consciousness to others. So we have to learn how to use our minds outwardly in service to the world instead of using our minds inward to try to make sense of our lives because that's where the disaster and the distortion comes. So bringing the awareness back to the body and letting go of expectation and our agenda. So what can happen with projectors, and I've noticed this in myself a lot, is that we think that we can see and know everything and a lot of times we do, you know, a lot of times we're really tapped into what's going on. But the importance here is that we need to guide without agendas. Because if we enter into the sacred space of somebody else's energy and think that we know exactly what they need, then it interferes with the natural unraveling of how to guide them. So we need to let go of our agendas and watch the natural process of energy. So it's really going in as a cosmic surgeon and pulling back and asking the right questions and letting the awareness and consciousness of that other person's organism, that other person's being, to do the work, to recognize the truth inside themselves. We are just the conduits. We're the guides. We're the ones with the laser focused. We're doing surgery here. We're doing, um, we're deeply going into somebody else and helping them recognize who they are and what their truth is. So we are the guides, right? We're not the rulers. We're not the, um, we're not telling people what to do. We are guiding them. We're offering advice when they're ready for it. So this is a different approach than kind of what we're conditioned to do or what we think we have to do. Or we may, may think that if we don't speak up or we don't initiate that no one's ever going to see us, recognize us, or our work is never going to get out into the world, and that's not true. So have patience with yourself, have respect for yourself and what you're here to do. Projectors are needed. We are here to do some powerful work, and we're here to have impact in our own unique way of having impact. And this is a more subtle approach. This is a new style of leadership that is more receptive and more attuned to the intricacies and the nuances of energy mechanics and this kind of mastery takes time and when you're in the process of waiting for life waiting for energy to come to you waiting to be recognized make sure that you're taking care of yourself and that you are focusing and putting your laser focused energy on things that are serving you, things that excite you, things that make sense for you, things that help you understand 
this matrix that we're in in the world we're in, no matter what system that is. For me, I've chosen human design because it works for me. It makes sense in my being. I've watched how accurate and how almost humorous it is to find the synchronicities and how much this knowledge resonates with how I see the world and how I see people. And I feel really honored to talk about this work because I watch how real it is. I watch, you know, over time how much I've challenged this work and how it's like grounded into me. And I think the biggest thing here is that we surrender to the experiment. We surrender to saying, I'm here to figure this out and I'm willing to wait because I know that what I have to offer is of benefit to others and wait for the, the avalanche of creative re resources to come meet you in life. And when it does, you'll really trust more and more that this is real like and that this has resonance, that this can help you in your life. And yeah, so this is leadership without agenda, leadership in surrender, leadership in self-recognition and recognition in others. And be gentle with your process of deconditioning because deconditioning can be super intense. Recognizing how we've been living out of alignment most of our lives can be a really shitty feeling and it can really take a lot of our attention. So the advice here is to focus your energy on your gifts, focus your energy on who you are, focus your energy on how you were designed and that's going to be kind of hidden as little secrets and codes in your chart and may take a, an analyst or uh, to help you recognize that it may take um, some guidance and support to help recognize that or just timing to let it unravel for me it's timing to let the contemplations unravel and let the codes kind of unlock themselves in their natural process and um, so focus your energy on the gifts, focus your energy on who you are, focus your energy on a resilience of trusting your inner authority, whatever that is. Recognize that the shadows are there, recognize the conditioning is there, but don't put all your energy into it because it can be a, a horror movie trying to navigate in there. And once, once we start really embracing who we are and lock into letting this live and transmit through you, letting it do its work, we surrender more and we trust more and then the openness that we have becomes our biggest resources of wisdom. So all projectors have an open sacral center because the sacral center is for the generator type that is the life force and fertile energy on the planet. We're here to know how that works. We're here to see it. We feel the frequency. We feel people's energy when we're with them. So our open centers are our resources of wisdom. We guide through our life experiences of learning how this works in an unfixed way. It's open, it's receptive. We get to learn, we get to go to school in our openness. It becomes fun, we get to play, you know. The not self can be juicy and exciting and interesting and makes for a good story. So enjoy the dance, enjoy the drama, enjoy the interactions you have with others and be aware, be mindful of how you feel in your body when you're with other people. Be mindful in your body of how you feel when you give guidance. And if you do it, you know, when you're actually invited to do it or not, and see the difference in your life. And allow the process to unravel naturally and slowly. Trust the timing of your life. And I promise that it gets easier. So I love sharing about projectors because feel like we need to join forces and support each other and recognize each other and remember that there's nothing wrong with you and that you are a powerhouse in your own way and um, yeah so I have a deep respect for the projector type because I've seen the impact and the you know the the change and the yeah the the intimacy that the projector can have one-on-one -on -one with others and it's really really a beautiful process so yeah keep trusting keep following your strategy keep trusting your inner authority and just enjoy the dance everything is perfect and there's nothing wrong with you you are not broken and 
You're here to do some really cool stuff in the world. So thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope it resonates, and I hope it can help you in your life. So thanks so much.